Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, the 4th of May, 2016. Hope you're having a good week. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in its proper format. And we've been talking about this 13 sell signal that was like three weeks ago now. And the fact that we ran into the risk line for that, which is where the top of the signal would be perfectly. And now we're rolling over. And this is actually the low close today on uh, Tuesday, the lowest close since that signal. Does not look good, generally speaking. Looks like a roll over there. Keep in mind, the ultimate target of that, one version of it, is the red line. That's that 18, down by 1883 or so, which is still another 160 pips lower, points lower than we are, more than that, uh, 160 points lower than we are right now. Yeah. So, yes, you break the lows of the last couple of days here, and this will be the first real confirmation of the move. We've already cracked the 10 day moving average, cracked the trend line. Really doesn't look good overall. Uh, let's take a look at some of the key numbers from Tuesday. Crude oil, again, here's a 13 sell signal a couple of days ago, and it, that was the top. And it's down another 92 cents, back down to 43.85. By the way, that puts the target on this at, at about 32 bucks, as you can see the red line there. Gold down $4.50, but that's close to a new high anyway. S&P Cash lost 18.06 points. NASDAQ 100 down 39.91. Both sides gap down. I'll show you that. It wasn't a very interesting day overall trading uh, intraday because the gap down and we ended up closing around where we opened. So it wasn't a big movement, but we did get a downward move, generally speaking. Socks down 7.65. This looks precarious at best. A move of, I think, about another, uh, uh, under about 6, 638 would be pretty ugly there. Biotech's down $54.44, heading back towards that red static trend line. The VIX curled back up the last couple of days. Remember, we had a buy signal on the VIX before we had the sell signal on the market. They usually go hand in hand and we bounced off the risk line here. So again, all this is kind of pointing to uh, a downward move. Be careful. Trin at 1.95, one of the highest trend readings uh, of the last 12 months, maybe in the top 10. Uh, that brings the 10-day moving average all the way up to 1.19. NASDAQ volume, 1.8 billion shares. So we're tracking better than last week. Monday was a little less than this, and Tuesday's up, but that both numbers are better than last week. Hasn't translated into the best volatility, which is what we really care about, but at least there's volume. It's got to come to something. It's got to lead to something at some point. Uh, bad market breadth. The advanced decline ratio, decliners led advances by 16.42 on the NASDAQ and by 15.46 on New York. That's down in the lower 10% of breadth range. Uh, Google lost $5.97. Apple saving itself a bit here back up a buck 54 boy they do not want to lose that 92 level on apple that'll be a disaster amazon down 12 dollars and 53 cents but certainly after almost making a new all-time high that's not a big deal netflix down 157 all right let's look at the five minute chart of the es so you can see again after monday was just sort of that flat opening and drift higher in the afternoon really never got exciting Tuesday instead just gapped under that whole thing. He just took out anybody that went long there is now underwater. Went lower initially, came back over lunch, tried to sweep the highs and couldn't. I think that's a key point right there and failed. So we're not filling this gap at this point. Uh, and we did close about where we opened, which is unexciting. The range was pretty minimal, uh, generally speaking. NASDAQ side, about the same thing. It made a little better effort to get into the gap over lunch and then came back down. It actually closed lower than it opened uh, by a couple points. So, you know, this is not pretty. The key is to focus on that daily chart uh, of the ES and the S&P, or the ES uh, and the S&P, right? This, this here, this 13 cell signal that you see, that's the thing. As long as we stay below that risk line, there's really not a lot of incentive for people to be going long. And if we start to pick up speed to the downside, it should lead to a decent move. So just be um, ready for that. And let's take a look at data. We have uh, some big data tomorrow morning. First, we've got the MBA Mortgage Index at 7 a.m. Eastern. Not a big deal. ADP employment change at 8.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 8.30 a.m. Trade balance and preliminary productivity. Those uh, the, the trade balance number can move the market. Factory orders and ISM services, both 30 minutes in. Those can actually move the market, especially when they come out on the same day at the same time. Crude oil inventory is an hour in, not a big deal. We've still got unemployment later in the week and stuff like that. So uh, there's, there's plenty to come this week. I'm hoping Wednesday and Thursday are the better trading days maybe even Friday morning with the unemployment number, um, but certainly hopefully better than uh, what we've been limited to so far this week on the uh, stock side at least. Uh, same thing happened last week, although this week's volume is better, you would have thought it would be improved, but last week we definitely picked up speed. The better trading days were 
uh, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in particular. So, uh, charts as usual brought to you by eSignal 12. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks in the lab and with our calls. Have a great trading Wednesday.